Glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. Hard facts. This is the big three. The big three. All right, Lagos. Let's bring you today's glass ceiling. Hmm? Last week we uh, started a conversation about whose responsibility it is to run the household. Who should be responsible for running the household? I got a lot of interesting calls on that subject because I shared uh, the story of this man with you who felt that chores in the home were not his job. He felt that chores in the home was the job of his wife. He shared his story on Twitter. He said he grew up believing that as a husband and as a father, all the man needed to do was work, provide for his family, and um, that's it. Come home and chillax. So he was a very hard worker outside. He had done his part as being a hard worker outside. Everything that needed to be done in the house, that one nine wife job. Now, the wife is employed, though. The wife has a business, so that she was running herself. So she was working outside as well, just like her husband. But she was also coming home to work to keep the house running. On the other hand, the husband said whenever he got home from work, he would sit down, relax, and his own day was over. So I told you that story last week. And a lot of you called in with various opinions uh, on the subject. You, you shared your thoughts. You told me what you thought should be happening with house chores, with running the home. And um, it was very illuminating. It was very surprising. Now, for those who didn't listen last week, let me play you some of the calls that um, came in on the show. Here are some of the opinions we heard last week. I had an experience when I was a teenager. Okay. Uh, an uncle of mine lost his wife mm. and had to come in for help. And that experience gave me a different approach to house upkeep. Okay. And it has helped, and it's still helping me in my household. Okay. Um, when I got married, my wife was, an house, was a housewife, but... I would never say because she's a housewife that I'll leave the house chores for her. Okay. I leave early in the morning when I come back mm -hmm. and I'm not too tired. Mm -hmm. I still get involved in cleaning. Washing plates is no big deal for me. I grew up doing that. Okay. Uh, washing clothes, thank God for washing machine these days, that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't believe you should leave your wife to those things. Uh, we sometimes tend to look at them as nobody just to wash mm -hmm. nobody just to do this but mm -hmm. those things that tiring those things can kill you if if you don't have enough rest so mm -hmm. i would advise every man n just to help when you are free mm -hmm. you, sometimes uh you might look at those things as small but those women go through a lot especially when children are involved so mm -hmm. hey, i don't believe that okay i have to work you have to stay in the house no no Part of my work is to take care of my children as well. Mm. Part of my work is to have time for my children and my home. So it's no big deal for you as a man to, to sweep your house. After all, it's your home. Mm. And we had that particular call and a lot of other calls that sounded like that call. And that's because I told you how the man that was sharing his story on Twitter said he got home one day a bit early, asked his wife to bring food. She told him, Oga, wait, I beg. Food never ready. Just chop this small bread, eh? While you are waiting, and he got angry with his wife. And according to him, you know that was one time too many because it'd been happening a lot. You know, he was so angry. Even though he took the bread, she still rushed into the kitchen. You know how you know somebody was very angry with you. you know that? Oh, well, make I just go do this thing with this guy they vex for? You know. So she, he was so angry, she rushed into the kitchen to go and make the food for him. And after that day. She was never late with the food again. Never. And then the guy goes on to say that long after that incident, one day he came home. He was smelling something burning from the kitchen. He rushed into the kitchen to switch off the stove because he didn't see his wife anywhere. He called out her name. He couldn't. She, she wasn't answering. So he rushed into the kitchen to switch off the stove. And then he found his wife in the kitchen. And she was fast asleep in the kitchen. Food was burning. And he got angry and he started to tap her. 
tap 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 she didn't she didn't respond and then he became afraid and he called for help and people came and helped him and he rushed her to the hospital when they got to the hospital that's when he found out that she was suffering from exhaustion that she was overworked after they got home because she needed to rest the man took two days off so that he can run the house while she rested the man said, early in the morning, I quickly prepare food, make pap for our baby. She asked if I could bathe the baby. I said yes. I undressed the baby, soaked the clothes and bathed the baby. To dress the baby up, I didn't even know what clothes to pick up. My wife had to help out to pick the clothes. Then my wife asked if I can feed the baby. I said yes. And then he goes on to say that feeding the baby is the most hardest work I've ever done in my life. I ran out of patience. I held her in my arms, I waited till she slept, then I remembered that I soaked her clothes and I had to go and wash the clothes together with the ones that were used the previous day. I needed to rearrange the house, there was a pot that was burned that needed to be cleaned. At that point I was hungry, I was sweating, I had to postpone the other things that were on my list and I took my rest. It was while I was resting that I realized that the little little house chores where the everyday routine work to be done before my wife has time for herself or her business. With all of these, she'll have to get things in the market to prepare food. And then I realized that if she continued this way, she will wear out and one day I will receive a call that my wife is dead. That struck me. His own words, I'm not saying he struck me, I'm saying that the man said that struck me on Twitter. Now, I also told you what uh, this revelation, this Eureka, <laughs> did for the man. How it influenced his behavior going forward. But I want to play a call for you that I also received last week. This particular caller said some very interesting things. Listen. I'm of the opinion that um, the husband and the wife cannot have a regular night to five. I believe that there has to be compromise. They have to, they have to arrange their life, not just around their work, but around the family. So someone has to give. The husband can give, the wife can give, but someone has to give. Because we are working not because we want to work, or work because we want to make a family. So you can't work and focus on work and let the family eventually suffer. And I, I'm curious what you think about what he has to say. 0700-993-993-993. What do you think about um, that caller's opinion? What do you think about the story I shared with you last week? Could you relate to the story? Do you believe that a man's only real job is to make money and come back and relax? Do you believe handling domestic chores are for women? Do you think it's a, a woman's job? What about when the woman is also going out to work to earn money for the family? Is it still fair for the husband to remove hands from domestic work? Remember, we have a line for men and a line for women. The number for men is 0700-993-993-993. The number for women is 01465-7190. 01465-7190. So we have equal access, equal opinions on the show. Patrick Inoshudi, welcome to the show. Yes. Go ahead, you're live. Good evening. Yes, then, yeah. Mm. Then man will take over the show. But what we will always we try to establish is that whose responsibility, uh, responsibility is this naturally? Uh huh. That of the chore naturally is the responsibility of a woman. Mm. But whereby now the man come to help, eh, the man will come to help. That of man is his own responsibility to go and find something and bring something home. If it turns that a woman is now the one that occupying that position now, then the man will now take over a, a home. It's very, as simple as that. Okay, yeah. so, so let me understand what you're saying. You're saying that if a man is going out to work, the woman yeah. should take care of the home. Eh? Yeah, because it's, it's mm -hmm. her responsibility. Okay, so what if the woman is also working the way the man is working? Whose responsibility is taking care of the home? Thank you. 
is equally the, uh, the taking care of the home is the responsibility of the woman. I do bring the word naturally. Then mm. two of them will now know how to uh, uh, manage it because it is possibilities, both of the, uh, the whole uh, work, the cure, and the going out for, to find out daily bread. So if, she, so, so if she goes out to find daily bread, she will also come back and take care of the home because that's her natural responsibility. Yeah. No, that that's what I'm, what, I'm I, I, I'm what I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. So you're saying mm, I, if two of yeah. them go out, so Patrick and uh-huh. his wife go out to, fi- to find daily bread, uh-huh. The wife's work naturally is also taking care of the home. Okay. So she can do both. That's okay. not if of them now goes out. Mm. Automatically, no one stays at home for uh, 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 that show. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That do that is left for two of them still to know how to manage that. But when we not when we're going to separate it now, mm. naturally mm. that of your uh, that your home is of woman. Oh. The other one is for man. What, um, are you a married man, Matt, Patrick? Yes. Uh, okay. Before you got married, who was doing the chores in your house? Thank you. I'm the very one doing it because of the situation of things. I'm sing- I was single then. Oh. So, so, so when you're marriage. when you're a single man, it's your responsibility yeah. as a man to do your own chores. But when you're yeah. now married, it now becomes the responsibility of your wife. Yes, okay. because nature even I'm, I'm, nature even said is that now when a woman get, uh, give birth now, uh, uh. so said is that the children will keep following her up. Okay, thank you very much for calling, Emanuela. Welcome. Hello, good afternoon, President. Sir. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling us today. Yes, I want to contribute on the topic. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, please. I, for me, I feel is the responsibility of the both partners okay. to, uh, um, to do the half chores. It's not just for the lady because in as much as both of them are working, mm-hmm. anybody that comes home can do the half chores. No. As far as when the guy was single, he was doing the half chores. He didn't. He never left his house dirty. Mm. So we shouldn't just leave the half chores for the wife because he's a woman. It's not a woman's responsibility. Anybody can do the half chores as far as I'm concerned. But he said the first caller said, you know, it's more natural for women to do house chores. There is nothing like not natural for me. I feel it depends on the upbringing. You know, when you see, for instance, there are some families where you see that they are only boys. Mm. You see that most of them are raised up to take care of the home and they do it perfectly. Mm. Like my young, my brother, I have only a, one brother. He's mm. the last but He grew up with my grandmom. Mm. Now, he can do, he does everything. He cooks, he cleans the house, he does virtually everything. Mm. But when we are around, he can just relax because we are around. But when we are not around, he does, he cooks everything. Even sometimes he bakes. Mm. He's not here. Yeah, he's a man. So... It's nobody's um, duty or responsibility. It's duty of everybody to okay. do the half chores. It's it, not assigned to any particular gender, as far as I'm concerned. Emanuela, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. Maureen Inkan is on the line. Hello, Maureen. Yes, yeah, hello, Sandy. Hi. Thanks for I'm calling. Have you. I've been trying to reach you all these years. <laughs> oh, Sandra, President Sandra, <laughs> my adorable woman. I really, really, really admire you. You've got God. God. Thank and you. I really admire you. You know what? That right. man that said um, it is natural for, that is a natural thing for a woman mm. to take care of the home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that man must be dreaming. Because this domestic thing is for everybody. Because it's your house. It's the man's house. It's my house. I remember when I was working in the bank, you mm. know, my husband and I would close so late. Mm. The night he would just go straight, straight to his room. Me, in my own suit, I'll steal my dress, so mm. I'll go to eating, cook, do everything, and then attend to my son's homework, mm. everything. Do you know this thing continued? Then one day, I told myself, Momo, you go die. This man will marry another one. He said, Momo. I was talking to myself, Sandy. Mm. I now said, it's not going to happen again. Mm. This man, you have to learn. To even boil egg now, Wahala. Mm. Ha. You know the problem? Boy. It has six sisters. When I even asked this, I said, come, your brother knows he do anything. He said, eh, when he has, I said, really? I have two brothers. They cook for their wives. Mm. They go to the market. They do all sorts for mm. their wives. Mm. Because it's their own home. Mm-hmm. It's your home. You were once a bachelor. Who was doing it for you? Who was washing your clothes? Well, I never washed anybody's clothes as a single girl, so I, 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 there's no way I could have started it. But I just told him, oh boy, buy, buy washing machine. Mm. They put your clothes inside. Mm. Do they walk? Are they walk? So why should I be going to die of stress? 
Yeah. Hey, I'm still my darling. It's not gonna. No, no, no. Such men, men should not think this way. Abroad, eh? A husband and wife, they do chores together. Mm-hmm. My cousin, my cousin in America, when he called, yeah, I didn't know this was in America. Was oh, you know my wife said I have to. Yes, you have to. You have to. Do you want the woman to die? But they'll tell you that you know that's that's their culture. We have our own culture here. Which Marie? culture? Which culture? Huh, no, 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 Sandra. Listen, eh, the young ladies of these days, eh, me, I'm in my 50s. Mm. But you know, young ladies of these days, you cannot try them. Mm. They will tell you, <laughs> coffee, go and buy washing. If like, you should buy a dishwasher. Buy washing. Because me, I'm very busy. My nails, I cannot just be doing all this. Go now, we now, we know we now. We mm. just, we, they, they give us this impression. That, ah, you are where you marry, you're going to do this. No, 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 no. My darling, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it anymore so no man should be dreaming face reality everybody's every woman goes out to work now mm-hmm. if you're not going to the office you're going to your shop you're running a business mm-hmm. you're doing online trading you're doing one thing or the other mm-hmm. you know so all of us are working and trying to earn a living so mm-hmm. no man should say uh, you come and do this you come and do no 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 let's share the responsibility if you're home do the one you can do when i get home i'll do the one i can do Okay. It's a problem. Yes. Thank, thank you, Maureen, for calling. We love that you got through today. James in Badagri, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Who should yeah. be responsible for running the household, James? Both, my my sister. Okay. There's something one lady said there, which is everything depends on the upbringing. Hmm. In my own house, I have uh, we have about three sisters and two brothers. We are many, but the elder ones has been married and the other one has gone out. Remain I, my my elder sister and my younger brothers and my younger sisters. Mm-hmm. My mother shared the, shared the way we used to cook in the house. Mm-hmm. You know, fufu. Mm-hmm. How to do fufu. You know, that is how to do it in a local way, not to pound it. To. Okay. Yeah, my mother taught us all the, if you didn't do it, we not eat in that house because we boys will always go to uh, play ball. Mm. And my mother do it compulsory that we are going to do it. Any domestic work in the house, my mother share it and we do it. Mm. So that thing, when I'm small, I thought that my mother is, you know, is treating us bad. <laughs> like what they're supposed to do, calling us. Bad. But when I grow up now, I know that my mother did a great thing to me. Mm. Even my wife doesn't feel it. Mm. I cook in the house. I wash my wife's clothes. I did everything domestic work. I don't even care. I'm the one working. Mm. I'm the one working, making the money for the house. Mm-hmm. My wife is a medical doctor. Okay. I build her a, a hospital. Oh. She has a time for her, for her own place. But I still go work. I come home. I take, I take, I take care of the home. My wife will be cooking now. I say, let me go and be fresh in water. Oh. Sometimes I know how to cook something like stew. Stew and jello fries, all those uh, kind of the soup. She, she's perfect in soup. Mm. But I say, no, I want to cook. And my wife loves when I cook. When I cook more special jello fries mm. or coconut fries mm. or... Um, you. Mm. My mom, you know, you, you can't keep everything for your wife. It's your wife. It's like two in one. Mm-hmm. When the other one hand is, is spending, the other hand will help. Mm. If you keep everything to your wife, maybe your wife fell in, fell in tomorrow. Mm. You are the one are going to bring money to take her house to hospital. Mm. You see, everything, forget all these old people that before they keep everything to women. Mm. Now, the time they marry Oriak, now we married. Also, dear man. Oh, man. Because if you leave it to one, the other person will, will, will die mm. and the other person will live. Mm. But I will also like my wife to bury me and take the, the care of the house tomorrow. Mm. It's not for me to die, my wife to die for that. You will, will see the difference. Mm. You see? Uh, Forget all those old men and old women. It's not about culture, it's by upbringing. Thank you, James, for calling. Chinelo in Ikeja, welcome. Ah, oh, Chinelo Pele, call us back, ah? Huh? 99.3, hello. 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 Good day. Good day. Are you male or female? I'm a, I'm a female. Okay, what's your name? My name is uh, A.G., Madam A.G. Madam A.G., welcome. Yes. You know what? Many men, they've been calling to say they used to help their wife at home. I mm. don't believe them. Okay. Because so many of them, they don't do it too. Okay. So many of them that have no, they don't do it. Okay. Most, most of these men, they leave the work for their wife to do. Even when the wife goes to work and they also go to work. Hmm. The final, the wife will still go to the kitchen. Hmm. They will not help. They're just making mad, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. 
<laughs> ask non women. Let them speak out. <laughs> well, women are calling. Eh? Thank you. I'm hearing the, the voices in the background. They seem to be agreeing with her. Lagos, if you just joined the show, you're listening to Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Every Wednesday, we bring you a segment called The Glass Ceiling. On The Glass Ceiling, we talk about the different barriers that hold women back, the different invisible barriers that hold uh, women back. Because sometimes you go into an office or a building and you see glass, right? And if you're not paying attention, sometimes the glass is so clean that you're not realizing that there's glass there. Until you're walking, boom, 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 boom. And then next thing you know, smack, you walk into the glass. Right? So it's an invisible barrier. What the glass ceiling show does it put, is to put a sign on that glass wall and says to you, watch out for the glass. Mind the glass. That's what we do every Wednesday on the glass ceiling. We point out that there's a glass door here. There's a glass ceiling here. And we talk about the different ways that we can remove that invisible obstacle. So open the door or smash the ceiling. And today we're talking about running the household. Do you know why this conversation is important? Three or four weeks ago, I brought you the story of a special assistant to Governor David Umahi, Emerald Udakaji, that's her name. And she had to resign to save her marriage. She said that um, she had to be submissive to her husband, that her marriage was suffering as a result of her work. And when we talked about it, some of you sympathized with her. You said, oh, she made the right decision. She made the right call. She should have resigned. She needs to make sure that things run smoothly in her home. Some of you said, no, she should not have been made to resign. She, should, she made the wrong decision there. What about her own dreams, her own goals for her life? And when I asked the people who said, oh, she made the right call, things need to run smoothly in her home, when I asked them why the husband couldn't be the one to make sure that the house ran smoothly, some of them replied me, it's not the job of the husband. And so when that man shared his story on Twitter, I said, ah, I need to talk to you about this. And that's why we discussed this man's story. First time last week, Wednesday, second time today and the big question is who should be responsible for running the household who you can talk to us on twitter at nigeria info fm you can also talk to us on facebook nigeria info 99.3 we are streaming live on youtube and we have whatsapp whatsapp is 080 959 we have a number for women so please zero one Four six five seven one nine zero. We have a number for men: zero seven thousand nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. We're going to take a quick break. After that break, let's come back and continue talking. Charles, yes, mommy. Go and bring two sachets of hypo bleach for me. Why two? Because I'm using one to soak the whites and using one to kill all the germs. But I can't see any germs here. <laughs> they are so tiny you can't see them, but they are there. And that is why I trust only Hypo Bleach to kill them all. Make your white fabrics whiter and your household free of illness causing germs and viruses with the disinfecting power of Hypo Bleach. Hypo, hypo. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 Naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call in to any of our shows. The Morning Crossfire, WhatsApp, like up. The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds, and you stand a chance to win 10,000 Naira. Winner will be announced on Hard Facts. Just a Minute, the game show for everyone. Right here on your number one station for calls. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Powered by Credit Zeal. Uncle Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate. Because Colgate locks calcium in... Miss Clarity's 
Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Hey, what will I do now? Tell me what happened now. My data unexpectedly finished, and I'm in a very important online meeting. I don't have any cash to buy retired cash from Alaji. I'm going to the bank right now. It's a long thing. <laughs> is that what you're stressing? Just down star 945 cash to buy airtime and data from your Alat or Wema Bank account on your phone. You don't mean it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. While you're at it, eh? you can also pay our electricity and cable TV subscription for the month and transfer half of the money I used to buy for yesterday or on star 945 cash. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Sorry, I'm back in my meeting. I, I can't hear you again. Keep the vibe going. Dial star 945 hash to buy airtime and data, transfer funds, pay utility bills, and perform more banking transactions without internet connection. Wema Bank, with you all the way. Hey, hey, Oga and Madam. You don't see the room now. Make I show you the toilet where you go to share with the other neighbors. Eh? Now the toilet be this. Uh -huh. What's your problem? Oga agent, you mean say na general toilet clean, go white like this, eh? Uh -huh. See you waiting in the use. Take cleaner and kill the Yama Yama jam for the month. Hypo toilet cleaner? Wow. Wash your toilet at least once a week with Hypo toilet cleaner to keep it sparkling clean and germ free. Available in sachet for 35 naira only. M madam, now two years land on one collect. We go pay for six years. Eh? Hypo, hypo. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call in to any of our shows. The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lego, The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds, and you stand a chance to win 10,000. Make white parish whiter and your household free of illness causing germs and viruses with the disinfecting power of hypo bleach. Hey, Michael, how's life? Life is great, Frankie, but uh, it's really hectic, man. From when I leave for office in the morning to the long house at work, and then the traffic leaves me feeling tired and stressed. Guy, I can totally relate to that. I've found a solution. Revital. Revital combines the power of Panax Ginseng, 11 vitamins and 9 minerals, and is chemically proven to fight tiredness and stress. Revital, physically active, mentally aroused, a quality product from Rambaxi, a sound pharma company. Uncle Dentist, what are cavities and how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When we brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... <laughs> Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. I won't tell you the secret of better food. Nadi. No chicken and classic seasoning powder. The ingredient they take make a man. Na natural by nature. Like real chicken. Muslim. Black and white peppers. Garlic onion. Parsley. Mushroom. Coriander. Coconut. No seasoning powder for inside your jaw lock. Fried rice. Egusi. And all other soup. Eh? You go no say flavor. Fast flavor. No seasoning powder. Natural by ingredient, Banga by flavor. Oh. Ah, guy, what did they make you scatter house like this? Eh? I beg, your help is in my air tell too. Ah, I carry and give Shade yesterday. Uh -huh. But you know, they use time again now. Yeah, you don't carry my bonus gift for no pity. Now today you go crack out. Eh? On top Airtel SIM? Yes, so if you don't reach within days when you never use your Airtel SIM, go find them now, now. Because why? No go get a wolf food on top of. Hey, get 2,000 Naira airtime plus extra 200 MB for just 200 Naira. The more you recharge, the more you are wolf. To begin, enjoy this a wolf. Just dial star 241 star 7 ash. Terms and conditions do. Airtel, the smartphone network. Hey, hey, Oga and Madam. You don't see the room now. Make I show you the toilet where you go to share with the other neighbors. Eh? Now the toilet be this. Uh -huh. What's your problem? Oga agent, you mean say na general toilet clean, go white like this, eh? Uh, yes, now. See you waiting in the use. Take cleaner and kill the Yama Yama jam for the month. Hypo toilet cleaner? Wow. Wash your toilet at least once a week with Hypo Toilet Cleaner to keep it sparkling clean and germ free. Available in sachet for 35 naira only. M -m Madam, now two years land on one collect. We go pay for six years, eh? Hypo, hypo. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk.
I'm Sandra Ezekwasili. It's 4.33. Let's keep talking, shall we? 0700-993-993-993. If you're a woman, 01465-7190. 01465 99.3. Hello. Thanks for calling us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, San- Sandra, this is Mrs. Epen. This is who? From Suleri. Hello. Mrs. Epen from Suleri. Ah, welcome back. Go ahead. Hello, Mrs. Epen from Suleri. Yes, welcome back. Go ahead. All right. Um, so we are talking about. Uh, our husbands helping out at home. Who should be responsible? Oh. It's not whether they're helping or not. Okay. Who do you think is okay. is responsible for running the home? Uh, for me, I, I think that the woman is responsible for running the home. Okay. To be very candid and very truthful. Mm. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's our responsibility to do that. But uh, times are changing. Times are changing. And every one of us, I, I, like I, I thank God every day for my life, for the kind of husband that God has given to me. Mm. I must really say I'm blessed. And it's God's favor, and I'm not taking it for granted. The reason why I say so is that uh, um, I have seen women complain. I've seen a lot go around. My friends that I have, that have been married over the years, some that have just gotten married. These are issues that break home. It breaks the home. The marriages, are, the marriages will crash because of you know, things like this at home. Only the woman doing it, the man not helping and all that. Little things like this. It's not, it's not money. But what I would say is that uh, in my own case, mm. I am blessed. And God specially packaged my husband for me. Because as I talk to you, there is nothing a woman can do that my husband cannot do. And uh, when he's doing it, he's not doing it to show off. Okay. He's doing it because he loves his family. Hmm. He wants the best for his wife and for his children. Okay. And I'm, the reason why I'm saying so is that I'm also blessed with boys. I don't have any girls. Right. And I tell my boys that I say in this house there is no woman, there is no man. Whatever you need to do, you have to do. You right. see your daddy, he takes care of you. When you sometimes they want something, they say no, mommy, don't do it. Let daddy do it. One daddy's own. See, this, this, uh, 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 this, this food we ate, the one daddy made, we like it. Daddy do it like this. Mm. I said, so, you have to learn to do it that way so that you will also be able to do for your own children. Mm. Your wife is not your slave. She's, a, she's your sister. She's your mother. She's anything that you want in a woman. Okay. So you have to bring that out of her. Mm. And so... I'm not just saying it to you, Imam, to see what your daddy, what your daddy is doing. Hmm. I am from River State. My husband is from Cross River State. Okay. I don't know how to cook a big I don't know how to cook a fair ferry. I don't know how to cook a, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, ah, forgot me. It's another recipe that everybody likes. The bangkoko. <laughs> A hair pan cocoa and uh, this other one, apart from uh, the kaikon. Hmm. Uh, a fan. Yes. Hmm. My, husband, my husband taught me how to make them. Hmm. Yes, in River State, we eat native soup, mm-hmm. calabari soup. Those, those are the things we do. Hmm. You understand? Pepper hmm. soup and all those fish, stew, mm-hmm. fish soup, pepper soup and all that. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. But because my husband is very domesticated mm-hmm. and he loves to do that, mm-hmm. you don't, you don't, fall. yeah, from Saturdays, you wake up in the morning, my husband will tell you, look, I'm making breakfast, people don't worry. So how come, even though you're married to a man who's doing this and you're raising your sons to see that um, everybody should be able to do this, you still believe that it's the woman's responsibility to run the household? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason why I want them to do that is that I want them to know that that even if it's the woman's responsibility to do that, it is, it is not for her to die. She's a woman being, and we have conscience. Okay. Okay? All yes, right. I accept you that it's our duty to do it. It is one thing that I go on the road and I know that if I eat something, I'm driving, I eat something, and I'm going on the road, I can throw it on the road. I see other people throwing it. Mm. I have a conscience to know that I shouldn't do this. Right. Yes, because when I travel out, I see how other countries, what it looks like. I never see such things happening. 
So mm. I shouldn't come to Nigeria and do that. Right. The conscience is a matter of conscience. So if that's why I want my boys to have that conscience, conscience as well. that their wife is their sister, is their mother, the way they will treat their wife, mm. the way they will treat their mother, the way they will treat their sister. Mm. What the best thing they want for her is the same thing they should do. Even if my husband is the one bringing the money, doing everything. Mm. You understand me? Okay, Mrs. FK. Thank you very much for calling. I don't know if Ezingwa is still on the line. I doubt it, but uh, he'll have to call us back. Ezingwa, thank you very much for uh, trying to call into the show. The number to call is 0700-993-993-993. Do you believe a man's only job is to make money and come back? Do you believe handling the domestic chores is a woman's job? What about the situations where the woman also goes out and works to earn money for the family? Is it still fair for the husband to remove hand from the domestic work? Ifoma is in Festac. Ifoma, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Good to have you on the thank show. You. Yeah, thank you, Sandra. Yeah. So I don't think it's the responsibility of the woman alone to run the house. Okay. Yeah, it should be a combined effort. Okay. Because I think both of you get back to those children. Right. So it's our responsibility to train our children to run the house together. Right. Like, I thank God for my husband. You know, most of the time when he's going out, he takes the children down to school. He begs them in the morning while I'm cooking in the kitchen, Aww. trying to get ready for my own work. Mm. He's also taking care of them. You beg them, dress them up. While he's going down, he dropped them down to school. Hmm. In the afternoon, while I'm coming back, I'll branch the school, pick them down. You know, it should be a combined effort. So proper division of labor, huh? Yes, hmm. proper division of labor. Hmm. Most of the times, when I'm, at times I might wake up late, before I even wake up, my husband is already up beating them because it's just both two of us and our two children. Hmm. We don't have any house help, just two of us. Hmm. So he assists, you know, you bed them, dress them up, then I'll cook, make the breakfast for them, the lunch. You go down, drop them while he's off. You know, I will go while I'm coming back. I'll branch the school, pick them back to the house, help them do their work. You know, it should be a combined. It should not be left for the woman alone. I don't agree that the work should be left for the woman alone. Okay. Uh, after all, two of, two of us get back to them. So mm. we should be able to put our uh, uh, our effort together and train them up. It should not be left for the woman alone. I don't think so. Okay. I, I, I don't think so, yes. Ifoma, thank you very much for calling. Chris is in Agbara. Hello, Chris. Um, President Sandra. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my contribution is the responsibility of majorly for the woman. Why do I say so? My name is Chris, your, your voice is low and your connection yeah. is poor. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I say I ate my mommy's food, not my daddy's food. Mm. But I, I wore my daddy's clothes. Daddy paid for the rent and also make sure we have the accommodation. Mm. So, but I ate my mommy's food. Mm -hmm. And when I, my mommy got food, when I when I, I started, I started living my own, normally go for my mommy's food. Mm -hmm. And that her attachment continues to be there until she dies. Mm. At old age, at 80. And because of what he was doing for me, I will buy only ten thousand and give to her to be drinking. She hmm. do that for my dad. So the attachment for all this is the attachment the children and the employer have. For instance, when I started my own, I I, I work in a finance house. I leave house early four o'clock back then. And I wouldn't have time for the children. So where will I have time to do all those? Hmm. So, when my wife wanted to join, complain, and she said, okay, that the house works too much for her, that she does this, she will do that, I said, take it, if I do. Okay, do I leave the job? When will I have time? If I collapse, okay? And at the point, she doing her for business. Sometimes she will leave before me, and then the children will come back. Nobody will take care of them. They will hang to the door. So one day I called her, I said, come, you'll be looking for money. I'll be looking for money. One day we'll come house, I will not put the children. I say, God forbid. I say, God forbid, 
God will only forbid only if I leave the job or you leave the job. So the next day she stops and starts taking care of the children. Now I'm free. Mm. She's free. So we are both taking care of the child, the children. But what I'm, I mean, the children mm. do uh, go on their own. Mm. So what I'm trying to say at that short stage, it depends on the job force. I'm calling us, the mother and the wife, the father and the uh, one woman, what they are doing, whichever one that is doing a job that is more challenging, the other ones are fit. But under normal situation, like the man somebody said naturally, it should be if the man should be doing the eighty percent mental work. Mental work in the sense that to build up the children's future, to think about their their house, their their accommodation, the problem and other problems. Why would the woman do the twenty percent? of the physical health. Then, the mom will do 80% of the physical and 80% of the mental so that the, the, the situation will move. We should not use what is happening in America to hear yeah, because the situation there is not palatable. Like, do you know the rate of divorce that is happening there? Even their children are not, not like they are using gun to shoot some people. Is it because it's happening there? It's not happening here. Even Boko Haram is happening there. Do you know one day that, or one time like that, that the child went to try to use to start killing other people? Mm. So we shouldn't use their own as a yardstick. Our children are better trained than them. It's just because that place, things are working. But when the mother, when the children begin to eat the mommy's food, like I ate my mommy's food, and the mommy begin to provide food for the children, things will work well. Crazy Nabara. Thank you very much for your call. Victoria and Ikeja, are you still there? Oh, Victoria. Uh, thank you for calling. Call back. Huh? The number for women, I'm going to take a woman's call next. The number for women is 01465-7190. 01465-7190. Let me take a quick trip to WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080-959. <laughs> Seven five eight zero five. Next week, we're going to have a conversation about childcare as a glass ceiling. Next week, Wednesday, we'll have a conversation about childcare. Specifically, we'll focus on childcare. Gone today, we're talking about running the house, but next week, Wednesday, we'll focus on childcare. I've got a message here uh, from uh, Jude. Jude says, if my wife tells me the house chores is everybody's responsibility, then every other thing in the house will become everybody's responsibility, including house rent, school fees. But this will bring division in the family. So my wife dare not tell me it's our duty. House chores is a woman's duty, Jude says. My husband and I pay rent together. I bring money, he brings money, we pay rent. Same for school fees. Same for any major bills in my house. So why is this a threat? If she says I should do chores, she should get ready to pay bills. If she's working and she has the money for it, why shouldn't she do it? Why wouldn't she do it? In some houses, some families, some husbands listening to me right now, some wives listening to me right now, the wives are the ones who are bringing the money to run the house. They're the ones paying rent. They're the ones paying school fees. They're the ones doing everything. And they're still the ones doing the chores in the house. So, Jude, your threat, quote unquote, is not the. It's not. It needs slap like that, though. It needs. You know, slap the way he thinks they go slap. We've got um, anonymous who says, "My mom is my god." Sometimes I don't know why my dad is still alive. Reason, he helps people outside, but he never fends for our needs. All right. That's, a, that's quite a different conversation, but thank you very much. We've got uh, China Saramoku who says, Please, I so much thank God for the kind of husband that God gave me. He does everything. He's always um, bathing his children, preparing them for school or church. He's going to the market to buy things. He enters the kitchen to cook. I so much appreciate him. I always thank God. 
for giving me a man like him. China Saramoku, thank you very much for giving us a call today or for sending that message to us on WhatsApp. We've got uh, more messages here. Christian from Ota says, I'm of the opinion that domestic chores is not gender specific. However, I think today's parents should do more. Some of these parents calling still segregate when allocating domestic chores between their male and female children. And that cycle continues. Christian from Ota, thank you for your message. Domestic work is for the couple. No one should have big share uh, for the other. The children are for the family. More messages are coming in on WhatsApp. Uh, President Sandra, there's no big deal in a man doing house chores. It takes a man who is nothing but an animal to refuse to help his wife. By the grace of God, I have a good job. My wife also teaches in one of the best British schools here in Lagos. I do our laundry. I clean the kitchen. I go to the market till today. But she does the cooking because I don't want my wife to wear out easily. It's the responsibility of a woman, but we have to balance all. But that shouldn't make the woman to take the man for granted. All right. This person doesn't put their name, though. But thank you very much for your message. Sandra, I am actually guilty of this. I married in September last year. Just a week ago, it dawned on me that I've not been doing house chores anymore. Trust me, it's not deliberate at all. I've made up my mind to repent. I feel so bad now. Emeka from Suriliri. Well, if we've changed your mind, then we've done our job, right? Thank you. We've got uh, more people calling the show. 99.3. Hello. Hello. Thanks Hello. for calling us. Victor, calling from Sango. Victor, why are you calling our female-only line? Eh? Why are you embarrassing yourself? 99.3. Oh. I guess that's another, another man <laughs> calling our female-only line. Hello. Hello. What's your Hello, name? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? My name is Toyosi, calling from Ikorojo. Welcome to Yossi. Tell me what you think. It's nice talking to you, and I can see that you are really opening a lot of ladies' eyes. Actually, I also have this, um, this stupid, let me say stupid, because if, if you have any foolish, like thinking that it, it's only a woman, she'll be the only one to be responsible of the house I also have that mentality before. Mm -hmm. But me, hearing you... Um, hearing you and um, what is that? And Joyce, hmm. that really opened my eyes. So actually, I actually like I actually have a close friend. He's a guy. Okay. So this question I asked him, hmm. and he's a guy. I asked him after that, who who should be really responsible of the house choice? Hmm. You know what he was telling me? What? He was telling me that and it should be the woman. And I was like, I was trying to like prove. My own point also. Mm. He brings his own point to the table. I also bring my own point. When I'm telling me that it's a woman that should be responsible, mm. that for woman, that for woman, that family should always come. And that, how will you be saying that for woman, family should always come? What of the man? Now say, eh, the man will have to go outside to go and work, to go and hustle. Mm. The woman must take care of the family. Okay, now that, okay, let's imagine now that the woman is also a career woman. Mm. Okay, I first asked him that, can you marry a career woman? He told me, yeah, that there's nothing bad. Then I said, okay, his wife is a career woman and she, she's always bringing him late. Mm. And you're always going to early. Mm -hmm. Will you do the after? Not, not telling that no. I can't do that. That's as for a woman, you must always, and you are married, mm. you must always go home early to go and do the. Okay, not that. Should it be the, person, the first person that go home should do the Or the woman go should do the. I'm not telling that it's the woman that should do the. Not that. I'm, why is it like that? I was very, very upset, upset and angry. You know, you talking in the midst of people, mm. and they, they have this mentality that, and they don't even understand you. And what I also find out that hmm. a lady, okay, lady two was also passing by. So I called the lady, I asked her that, who, hmm. who, like, who, like, who is really in charge of the responsible, like, in the house? Hmm. Who, who should all the actions? So I said that it's human now. Hmm. And then I find out that some women do not also know their rights. Like, how will you be saying, as a lady, a young lady, how will you be saying that, okay, it's a woman? That, if the girl was not telling me that, if a man is assisting a woman, if a man is, cooking in the house, mm. helping the woman, that mm. is, is like assisting. He told me that he's assisting the woman. Mm. That generally in Africa, that woman should be the one to cook, should mm. be the one to do all the house choice. Mm. I was not like saying that. I was very, very angry because, you know, I'm trying to prove something. Mm. And 
it's just like I'm wasting my time. You understand? Well, you're, you're not you're not wasting your time. It's small, small. It, it's so painful. I don't know. Maybe you can imagine how that day I was so pain. He was not telling me that uh, that a human didn't lie, that a human should not be working those days. Now that okay, let's say now, let's say now, now mm-hmm. this twenty four cent. Now that a woman should be the one cooking. Now that okay, as for me, mm. as for me, mm. I can't. Like people, a lot of people have opened. A lot of people as I don't even know. Mm-hmm. They have opened my eyes. Okay. And I have known that. That and again, mommy Sandra, I can't say they have seen there is a particular advertisement they do do on mm. television. This man is heavy mm. and this man is washing the clothes. I don't know if you know the advertisement. This man is bending down and washing the clothes. I don't know, I don't know what is bad there. You are heavy and you are still washing clothes, you are still cleaning, you are still washing. I don't know. It's so painful. It's so very, very painful. So that's a mentality that we need to stop in this country. I agree with you, but unfortunately, I need to take a break. Um, thank you very much for calling. I, I didn't quite catch her name but i'm glad she called us today let's take a break more conversation more talk more right after this Uncle Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? Hello dear, most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula blocks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 Naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call into any of our shows. The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lego, The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds and you stand a chance to win 10,000 Naira. Winner will be announced on Hard Facts. Just a Minute, the game show for everyone. Right here on your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Powered by Credit Deal. I won't tell you the secret of best star food, Nadi. No chicken and classic seasoning powder. The ingredient they take make a man. Na natural by nature. Like real chicken. Rosemary. Black and white peppers. Garlic onion. Parsley. Mushroom. Coriander. If you knock no seasoning powder for inside your jollof, fried rice, egusi, and all other soup, eh? you go no say flavor. Pass flavor. No seasoning powder. Natural by ingredients. Panda by flavor. Hey, what will I do now? Oh. Mommy, what happened now? My data unexpectedly finished, and I'm in a very important online meeting. I don't have any cash to buy recharge card from Alaji. I'm going to the bank right now. It's a long thing. <laughs> Is that what you're stressing? Just dial star 945 hash to buy airtime and data from your Alat or Wema Bank account on your phone. You don't mean it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tite. You can also pay our electricity and cable TV subscription for the month and transfer half of the money I used to buy fuel yesterday all on star 945 hash. <laughs> so fast. Sorry, I'm back in my meeting. I-, I can't hear you again. Keep the vibe going. Dial star 945 hash to buy airtime and data, transfer funds, pay utility bills, and perform more banking transactions without internet connection. Wema Bank, with you all the way. Hello, good afternoon. 